So my enduring priority is ensuring that NATO remains vigilant, prepared to meet future challenges and threats with agile, capable, and interoperable military forces. NATO has achieved an unprecedented level of cohesiveness among our allies and partner forces in the past decade of combat operations and is operating at a near seamless integration team right now. We aim to maintain this level of cohesion as our troops come home by intensifying our education, training, and exercises across all the medium, air, land, sea, and cyber domains. Exercise Steadfast Jazz in November and the other exercises in the Steadfast series uh, that are going on right now are the first steps in achieving these aims. The NATO Response Force is the tip of the spear in terms of NATO's ability to respond to an emerging crisis, which is why realistic and demanding exercises like Steadfast Jazz are essential in maintaining and enhancing the effectiveness of our deployable forces. We live in an uncertain world, and my job is to ensure that our forces are trained, equipped, and prepared should they be called upon at short notice to deal with an emerging disaster or crisis situation. This involves complex and demanding tasks such as operational planning, the transport of troops and equipment over long distances, the establishment of command and control, architectures, the effective leadership and employment of military forces in response to whatever the crisis situation. Exercises like Steadfast Jazz provide a venue to confirm the skills of our commanders and their multinational forces, as well as to test the validity of our tactics, techniques, and procedures. These events also allow us to continue to develop and hone emerging capabilities, employ new technology, and confirm lessons from previous operations, and test the tactics to correct them. In short, Exercise Steadfast Jazz is going to be a superb learning opportunity. Another of my key exercise, uh, priorities is building partnerships. And I'm pleased to tell you that we are planning to have a number of partners join us during Exercise Steadfast Jazz. Ukraine will participate in the live component of the exercise with an amphibious company. And both Sweden and Finland are planning to send officers to participate in our command and control component. NATO and Russia are also conducting a joint airspace coordination exercise later this month named Vigilant Skies, where we will practice our ability to work together in tracking and responding to aircraft hijacked by terrorists. We are also planning a joint submarine search and rescue exercise with the Russians in 2014. And in the interest of transparency, and confidence building, we have invited Russian military officers to visit Exercise Steadfast Jazz as observers. And I'm pleased to say the Russians have reciprocated and in, have invited NATO officials to observe Exercise Zapad, which starts later this week. These confidence building measures should dispel any false notions about these exercises, which are routine and normal military preparation and activities. The Steadfast Jazz series of exercise marks the start of our increased emphasis on readiness and collective training as NATO's focus shifts from being deployed to being ready.